Reform POCT Occipital Plate Surgical Technique Guide Video Step 1. Occipital Plate Size Selection and Positioning When selecting a plate, there are a few things to consider. 1. The plate should be placed directly below the inion. 2nd. The plate should optimize the relationship between the occipital plate tulips and the cervical fixation point. 3. The plate should be positioned so that it is centered in the midline between the external occipital protuberance and the posterior border of the foramen magnum. There are two options for contouring the occipital plate. First, the long and short bending iron. These two instruments are used in tandem to contour the plate. The short iron has two small ball plungers to grasp the plate, and the long iron is positioned close to the contour zone that needs to be bent. Second, the occipital plate bender. Place the bender's wedge directly over the contour zone and squeeze the bender. Step 3. Occipital plate and polyaxial screw placement. Use the all-in-one plate inserter and guide to place the occipital plate. Set the depth indication of the guide to the desired depth and insert the occipital bone drill. Use the straight drill connected onto one of the inline modular handles. Next, the straight occipital bone tap. Finally, deliver the screw with the straight driver. Once the screw is fully seated into the plate, you can remove the plate inserter. The angled instruments may also be utilized through the all-in-one inserter. The remaining screws can be delivered using the variable angle guide with the straight or angled drill, tap, and driver. Alternatively, you can utilize the freehand tap and driver provided in the set. The freehand instruments are designed to work without the guides. Anatomy and surgeon preference will dictate what instruments are utilized. Step 4. Occipital Rod Placement Reduction and Final Tightening Next, use the occipital rod bender to shape the rod. There are also pre lordosed rods that can also be further adjusted by the occipital plate bender. Next, place the rod in the tulips of the screws and occipital plate using the rod inserter instrument. All rod reduction instruments from the POCT set are compatible with the occipital plate. Now use the occipital screwdriver to deliver a set screw to tighten the rods down. Lastly, final tighten each cap screw using the occipital counter torque wrench and inserting the torque driver. There are two different counter torque wrenches that can be utilized. Once engaged with the set screw, tighten until clicking is heard.